What's going on guys? Chase on two wheels here and today I am going to be answering a question that I get more than any other question. How do you get audio out of your helmet? So guys, today I'm going to run you through how I wire up my own helmet that I use for motovlogging. All right, guys, so in front of us, we have everything that I personally use to do all of my moto vlogs. We have my variant, my GoPro, my uh, mic, my adapter, and my GoPro housing. I'm going to leave links to every one of these items in the description so you guys can literally get the exact same stuff that I have in case you want to do that. So our goal here is to make it so we can talk to ourselves in this helmet and record the audio on this GoPro. How do we do that? So first off, we got to get the GoPro on the helmet. This is going to be total choice. I personally like mine here on the side, and I clip it in there. The housing, the arm, the, the sticky mount, all of that is going to depend on your personal preference, however you like your mic to go. The beautiful thing about this situation is you can have it anywhere you want, and this cable is long enough to where you shouldn't have a problem getting the, uh, the microphone into the helmet. We've got the GoPro on the side of the helmet or wherever we end up wanting to put it, but we are gonna have to make a modification to the GoPro housing in order to make it work for the audio cable. If you'll notice, we put the GoPro in. Typically, when you put these GoPros in, it's a waterproof housing. You could go underwater and be fine. But we have to use the micro USB adapter. We have to be able to get to that in order to get our microphone fed through our helmet. What you do is drill a hole in your housing and then dremel it out just big enough to fit the microphone adapter. I'll plug it in to show you guys. So you have to have enough room for the adapter and I have the 90 degree one because I like that one the most. Um, make sure you get this adapter. For one, it works very well. And two, it's low profile. So when this GoPro is mic'd up and good to go, this adapter allows you to be a more streamlined. I've seen adapters that poke out this way. Those get caught on things very easily, so you want to avoid that. And plus, this adapter is stupid cheap. I think it's like three bucks, five bucks. Uh, you can check it out in the description, but I've got like 10 of them. They're just super cheap, and uh, you never want to not have the adapter. So anyway, make sure to grab this adapter. We're going to feed this around this way. So you've got your GoPro in the housing, you've got the housing dremeled out, you've got the adapter hooked to the GoPro. Now, this adapter is what's gonna allow our microphone cable to be fed through. The microphone is a 3.5 millimeter lavalier microphone with a male end, and it goes into this female end. So we've got here, we're gonna thread this around. The inside of the helmet is where this gets interesting. The way I personally have mine set up, is I have my microphone sit right in this little area right here. So the way we're gonna do that is, first thing, don't tuck the wiring at all. I've, I typically just put the microphone up through the helmet. So you can see the microphone's now running all the way through the helmet. We're gonna, hopefully you guys can see this, we're gonna pull this ear pad down and we are simply going to place the microphone inside there. Also, this is just a standard windsock that's probably gonna come with your microphone. If it doesn't, just look up a wind so or small lavalier microphone windsock, or I'll leave a description in the description for this windsock. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna stuff this thing right here where my cheek's gonna be, okay? So that's there. We're gonna feed the wire. And once again, guys, this is on a variant, but this should be the exact same per any other helmet. So I'm gonna feed the wire underneath this little tab that's gonna click in, just like that. So now, let's get the wiring back through there. All right, so you can see this is where the wiring comes out, where the little ear hole is. These are wires that go to my center. Don't worry about them for now. But if you notice in your helmet, there's gonna be little canals where all of the padding kind of come together but don't touch. And you can feed the wire in around these canals. The way I do it is I feed it around here, uh, down this line, and then once you get to the back, this is the easy part, you've got all this extra wire now. Obviously, we're not gonna ride around with all this wire just hanging off of our helmet. That's, you're just asking to get something ripped out of your ear. Okay, we've got all this wire pop the back plate off, 
and you have this cornucopia of room to just stuff anything you need to in. And we're going to stuff this in here until it's relatively snug, not tight. I'll show you how we're going to make it tight after we get this all put in here. Okay, so put one, click one of them back in, get a little extra stuffing in. So you can see the wires that go to my ear are not super tight. You don't want them super tight because if they're super tight, it's going to rip out. Okay, so we've got it all tucked in there. Let's get the other side clicked back in. You'll be able to hear it if I'm able to do it or not. Okay. All right. So now we've got the wiring tucked away and this doesn't look bad, but what I like to do is I like to feed a little bit of it out and tuck the wire in to make this part tight underneath this rear lip. So what I do is I just grab the wire that's already coming out from the back of the helmet and you can just tuck it in here. And if it comes out, it's not a big deal. Like you can just tuck it back in. And that, that is how I mic up my Icon variant. Like I said, every helmet is going to be different. There's two things that you're gonna have to play with to see what you like best. One is gonna be the GoPro placement, whether you like it on top, chin in the front, on the side, on the right, left, whatever you want. That's going to be the first thing you play with. The other thing that you're going to have to play with, and this is going to be the, you're going to have to play with this regardless of if you get an icon variant, if you do this exact same setup, you are still going to have to play with it because everybody talks differently. This location works very well for me. I have personally tried every place in this helmet that you could possibly imagine, and that is the place that ended up working best for me. What you're going to have to do is get your microphone, put it in this location, get your helmet on, go, go on a very short ride. It's not going to take very long for you to find out. But put it there, go ride. Come back, put it on the other side, go ride, come back. Put it up here in the front, go ride, come back. I even see some people put their microphone up here. There's tons of places you can put a microphone, guys, and it's going to be totally dependent on how you talk and how you ride, whether you're leaned up or leaned back. It's going to be different for everybody. But what you can definitely use in this video, start with that placement, and that's how you feed a wire through a GoPro. Obviously, this is for a GoPro only. If you have a drift or another camera, it's going to be the exact same, maybe minus the adapter. I can't really make a video about those because I only use a GoPro, so I can only make a video about what I use. But hopefully you guys found this interesting um, and helpful for you guys that don't know how to mic a helmet up. So this has been how to mic up a motorcycle helmet for in-helmet audio. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. If you guys have any questions about this setup, leave a comment down below and I will gladly answer it for you if I can. But guys, that's about it. I'm going to get out of here and uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Later.